What's good guys, it's Ida from Afro Kicks and I'm finally back with another video. I know for some of you guys it may seem like forever since I've uploaded, which is true. But if you're not already, make sure you follow me on Instagram because I am a lot more regular on there. That sounds like I do a lot. If you don't already, make sure you follow me on Instagram. If you don't already, make sure you follow me on Instagram because I post a lot more on there and you guys will see what I've been up to. I've actually tried to upload videos more on YouTube and I start filming it, I'm talking, doing the intro, start filming the customization, and it just gets so long. Those videos tend to just disappear into nothingness or I just make a really short clip and post on Instagram. So make sure you follow me on there to see everything I've been up to. So today I thought instead of doing a whole pair of kicks, I'm going to customize a hydro flask because everybody else seems to be doing it. I bought this hydro flask on Amazon. This hydro flask is about 35 pounds, meaning it's what 40 something dollars for under a whole liter okay it's less than a liter worth of water that I can put in here I can't fit more than 32 ounces of liquid in here which kind of sucks but oh well <laughs> I'm gonna customize this today and I went for yellow because I don't know if you guys have noticed that a lot of the time when I do my Basquiat inspired customs I have a yellow base and I thought you know what instead of having the yellow base I'm going to buy a yellow base hydro flask then I'm gonna add my colors on top and then I'm going to add my African designs over that so hopefully this is gonna look really really cool and I can walk around like this and people are like oh my god where did you get it from like I made it I love doing that people are like oh my god I love your trainers where did you get them I made them take a business card <laughs> All right, so the first step is to tape off any unwanted areas that you didn't want paint to get onto and that for me was the cap of the bottle. Um, it's not that necessary, I only just did that because I wanted to make sure I didn't get any paint on it and because I wanted to hold on to that little handle to use while I was painting. step which I'm not too sure is 100% necessary but Angela did it on their tutorial so I'm using some acetone to get off any supposed factory finish on the hydro flask I'm pretty sure if you really really wanted to go that deep you could probably sand it down as well just to make sure that the paint really adheres to this metal major major life changer are these cotton pads guys i went through so many cotton balls when i first started until somebody blessed me with the knowledge of reusable cotton pads next you want to spray on an adhesion promoter guys this isn't 100 percent necessarily but it will make sure that your paint really adheres to that flask and make sure you read the instructions first because i did not wouldn't you know yet another product to help you with sticking that paint to your flask mixing a one-to-one -one ratio of too hard and paint just really make sure your paint sticks to harder surfaces like plastics metal wood cement no no <laughs> All that prep work is finally done it's time to start painting if you guys have seen my Basquiat inspired customs before you know that I start off usually by painting the white shoes yellow then throw in some paint strokes of different colors the main trick when it comes to doing these kind of customs is to do your paint strokes from different angles come from all different angles use different size paint brushes and really just switch it up making sure that you do one layer then the next then the next then the next and then come back and add some more color into that and white really helps bring it all together using angelus's number two round brush i decided to paint this cute little hydro logo with a nice outline Alright, so I can't even begin to describe what is going on here, but just know that I start off somewhere 
and I just let the paintbrush do the rest of the work. Literally just sit there, do whatever shapes and whatever symbols that come to my mind. And there is literally no plan of this. It just goes with the flow. I just keep connecting one area to the next, to the next, to the next, until it's all done. my almost completed really expensive hydro flask custom just to finish it all off i'm going to use angelus's matte yes it is matte acrylic finisher on the flask using a paintbrush i'm just going to paint it on like i would with paint <laughs> Here we have it in all of its glory, trying to hypnotize you to like, comment and subscribe and make sure you follow me on Instagram so you can get more up-to-date videos and posts. Mm -hmm.